about feeling sorry for people that you really shouldn't be feeling sorry for there's this crazy article here courtesy of yahoo news regarding lizzo the much famed the much fabled lizzo somebody that i have a lot of time for musically oddly enough i think she's a really good pop star i just hate all the histrionics and the nonsense that goes uh, on with her outside of the music the fact that her being fat is used as both a crux in order for her to gain notoriety but it's also used as a defense mechanism whenever she feels like people are criticizing her for stuff that she should be criticized for right in general it just feels a little bit strange that she uses it on both ends in that regard but again i guess the game is a game it is what it is but it's courtesy of yahoo news it says lizzo cries during instagram live in response to mean messages it's fat phobic and it's racist and hurtful which is bizarre but let's continue and read the whole statement it says fans famous friends like cardi b and missy elliott are cheering on lizzo after the single cry during an honest moment on instagram live during a video which no longer appears on instagram feed the grammy award winner um, got emotional in response to negative attacks days after she and cardi b released the music video for her new song rumors on the days i feel i should be happier she says i feel so down um like i hurt so hard though the 33 year old man she's 33 years old crying on instagram like it's about people saying mean things or on the dms like just imagine what those 18 year olds are going through mate come on grow up anyway it continues says i'm not even going to say them um or, or to give them power she says um people saying shit about me that just doesn't make any sense she says visibly upset the fat phobic uh is racist and it's hurtful if you don't like my music cool if you don't like rumors the song cool but the people that don't like me because of the way i look no but that's the thing that i've never understood with lizzo right I don't think people, I don't think she is okay with people not liking her music because I think pop stars like her or celebrities like her, for some reason are in this, are under a false guise or idea that somehow everybody is meant to like them. And if you don't like them, then that is cause for them to cry and moan and complain about bullying online. That isn't the case. Like nowadays, especially, I feel like um, in order to become a really successful pop star at the level that she is, at the level that someone like a Cardi B is, you kind of need to have people who really dislike everything about you and what you stand for. You need to have as many people that love you as they hate you too, I think, in order for you to get to the real upper echelons. There's no way of getting to the top, top, top tier of stars them without having a dedicated group of people who are um who want nothing but to bring down your career and also people who will excuse just about everything that you do because they want you to be super successful you need both camps but for whatever reason lizzo doesn't believe that and if you do criticize her it's a fat phobic it's a racism thing which is insane and also this is a weird thing to say but isn't it kind of isn't there some sort of um i say some sort of doesn't it Aren't you in some sort of... That doesn't bring shapes. If you're Lizzo, right, and you're constantly floating yourself on social media, and it's not saying, oh, she deserves anything, just, just don't get me wrong, but this is what I'm going to say. If you're flaunting yourself on social media and you're bearing yourself, naked or not, online, regardless of what her body shape is shouldn't you expect some level of pushback from some people who maybe don't vibe with it for whatever reason whether it's because you're fat or not whatever you should expect some pushback right and if that's the case the whole point of it is that you don't let that pushback influence what you want to do if the, if that's how you want to live your life if you want to be the girl that goes to a basketball game with a with a whole cut out at the back of your t-shirt to expose your bum and you feel like that that empowers you you're going to be twerking online all the time and doing whatever and, and embracing your sexuality cool amazing go do you but there's also people out there who for whatever reason don't want to see that from you because they think you're too fat or they don't want to see that from you because they just don't want to see that um you know level of crudeness on their social media feed i think it's ridiculous i think it's nonsense i think people should be able to do what they want but i do know those people exist and to suggest that they are somehow being racist or they're bullying you because they're pointing out that they don't want to see that on their feed is just bizarre because you could easily just ignore those messages and keep on moving on but you know um let's continue it says um Bah, bah, bah. the native Texan noted that she was feeling especially frustrated because she's been working um, quadruple this time but feels that like unappreciated sometimes I feel like the world just don't love me back they shouldn't they don't need to, they're not obliged to love you no one is outside of your family and friends and again what kind of love do you really want from being an international celebrity or international pop star the love that you're getting is 
situational, circumstantial, temporary, fleeting. It's not real love, even if you're from your fans, right? They're only going to love you for as long as they're here. They're only going to love you for as long as you make great music. Do you know what I mean? The self-love has to come from within. You would imagine so, right? You would imagine. It continues. Um, it, it, it's like it doesn't matter how much positive energy you put out into the world, you're still going to have people who have something mean to say. Of course, because it's the internet. This is the nature of the internet. Internet is made for people to say shitty things to share you know horrific videos and to just act a fool it's not there to uplift you and give you positive light and energy you're meant to cultivate that for yourself however you do it whether it's because you know you can cultivate your social media feed so you only follow people who are extremely positive you can limit your use of social media you can only limit your contacts and who you basically speak to in real life there's things that you could do to ensure that you're not negatively affected by the drudgery and the bleakness of social media but to expect to get love from strangers like that is just utter, utterly utterly bizarre it continues you still have people who sometimes i not say and for the most part it doesn't hurt my feelings i don't care i just think um when i'm working this hard my tolerance gets low my patience gets lower i'm more sensitive and it gets to me if you're working as hard as you say you're working you really shouldn't have time to be checking people's feedback on the work that you're doing you should be focusing on the work but again these people they want to have their cake and eat it too they want everyone to listen to their songs but they also want everyone to share the same opinion of their songs or how they go about marketing and putting it out there because don't get me wrong this is a marketing push it's a bit callous it's a bit um it's a little bit uh, blatant at how she's doing it. We know it's a marketing drive, right? This whole idea that there's this really voluptuous, bigger girl doing a collaboration with Cardi B. Their two fan bases are, you know, they don't even, they don't operate in the same stratosphere, let alone in the same room. So in that respect, you, you know you're going to get some weirdness and some pushbacks and some trolls coming out from the blue. This is all part of the marketing push to turn it into like a, yay, let's, let's go after the bullies. It's like, no, you're a bit of an annoying personality on social media anyway, regardless if you're famous or not. You know that. You use it to your advantage. You know you're going to rub some people up the wrong way. The key to it is just to ignore it and keep on moving on because guess what? You're still a multi-millionaire, Grammy award-winning sing-songstress that hasn't put out when's the last time she put out a single was it like two years ago a year ago right and she still garnered all this attention right that should be a good thing you should be happy about that really you should think of, well, it's what you should imagine so anyway it continues it says um i think i'm just overwhelmed she says i think i've been in shock ever since the song came out and i haven't really been able to sit and just congratulate myself like i did well you should you should maybe pop a little you know have a little shot on yourself and pat yourself on the back and keep it moving i dropped a song i said everything i wanted to say i make music that i like that's important to me and i make music that hope uh people no sorry that i hope helps people period i'm not making music for white people i'm not making music for anybody i'm a black woman making music i make black music period i'm not serving anyone myself eh, let's be honest though you know most of your fans are going to be white it's not a bad thing but let's be honest in it let's get off the screen because the text messages are showing up on the screen um yeah i don't know i don't know what she wants um for the people that just always have something negative to say to me that has nothing to do with my musical content or my character or me as an artist just has everything to do with my body and whatever trope you think i fall into suck my from the back because all you motherfuckers are going to be the ones that are catching up they're not really are they you're never gonna come i don't know i don't really know i strive for joy every day blah, 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 blah. yeah you know she's just complaining look man i don't know i think if you're a lizard you're just gonna have to accept you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea it is what it is maybe it's because of what you look i don't know who who knows what the point is but the point of it is you're able to exist now in pop stardom world where people are quite image conscious and obsessed with what things look and sound like and the fact that she can have a career a very successful one and be lauded by the industry and receive grammys and awards and all this stuff and accolades that should be enough you shouldn't need to try and force the love from people that clearly are never going to love you for whatever bigoted reasons they have discriminatory reasons they have and just focus on the music focus on your fans but for whatever reasons people on this kind of level they always seem to focus more on the naysayers than they do their legions millions of fans who would literally give anything to spend a couple of minutes with them i just don't understand it but again maybe i'm in the wrong